So two individuals have found each other, have loved each other, and they've courted within the confines of the societal norms. Now they have to move to the next step, marriage. Marriage in the traditional African society was marked with elaborate ceremonies that celebrated the union of these two individuals. These ceremonies could start from the negotiations for the bride price to those little ceremonies where someone pays a piece of the bride price to show their intent and seriousness. Then the big day would come, the day when the girl would be given away to the groom's family. This moment was so significant. Even now, in most African communities, when the bride is leaving home for the last time, it is very, very significant. You find that there's a lot of emotions and crying and hugging because she's leaving for the last time as an unmarried person. The next time we see her, she's going to be someone else. The wedding songs played many roles. Wedding songs celebrated the newlyweds, congratulated them and wished them well. The wedding songs also gave praise to the higher powers, to the gods, and asked them to bless this marriage. Asked them to bless the woman's womb. Asked them to inject the seeds of the husband with potency. Asked the gods to bless this union and to bless them with very many children. The wedding songs also served to give pieces of advice to these two individuals. When you look at most traditional African wedding songs, you realize that a very big number give advice to the woman and not the man. This is because most of these communities were patriarchal and a woman was a subordinate. So this woman had to be lectured and told the rules of engagement. The woman was really advised to take care of the home. The woman was advised to make the husband happy at all times. The woman was advised to make herself available for procreation at any moment. The wedding songs, just like any other traditional song, reminded the couple and the audience about the history of the people, what they stand for, and the hopes they have for the future. This was done so that the couple knew how serious this ceremony was. Wedding songs, just like any other traditional song, is relatively long. The length of these songs is very important because the longer the song, the more opportunities the audience has to join in and be part of it. These wedding songs were full of pomp and color and beats and rhythm and all the beautiful things about the community. The wedding songs just reminded us of the wish of the gods that we come and populate this earth. Some wedding songs were very playful also because during the ceremony we could have some little skits where the bride's people pretend that they don't want to give the bride away so there's this kind of tassel and it is done so playfully until at the end they give away the bride so you find that some of them are very playful and they just bring this kind of relaxed vibe to them so wedding songs in the traditional african society were so critical the wedding ceremony is the one that started it all because as we saw when we talked about the birth songs, this was sacred. It is from this marriage, this union, that we are going to be assured that the community would last for generations. It is because of this union that we got workers, that we got soldiers, that we got farmers, that we got thinkers, that we got the hope for the community. Yeah.